This experiment is designed to measure the force on a toy car during stopping. And this force is provided by the friction between the car and the carpet. Now, we're going to do that by letting the car run down a ramp. And when it reaches the end of the ramp, of course, it will have accelerated to a speed V. So the kinetic energy lost during the slowing down on the carpet will be equal to a half mv squared. But we don't know V and we've no way of calculating it here. However, we are going to assume that the loss of potential energy from here to here is equal to the gain in kinetic energy. So we need to measure, therefore, MGH, which is the loss of potential energy. And to do that, we need the mass of the car. Well, I've already measured that, 0.035 of a kilogram. And I've also measured the height here, which is 0.08 of a metre. And rearranging my formula FD, where D is the distance along the carpet of the stopping distance, we can calculate F the braking force. So let's do that and let's run it down from the mark and D in the first run comes to 54 centimetres. We'll do it again. It comes to 50 centimetres and we'll do it a third time. It comes to 50 centimetres well, I think if we call the distance 52 centimetres, 0.52 of a metre. So, if we now divide the 0.027 by 0.52 of a metre, we should get a value for the braking force of 0.05 metres. This is the force between the carpet and the car during braking. Obviously, it would be better to try different distances acquired by moving it up and down the ramp, but for the moment, these will do. So we've got three results giving you an average here of 0.05 newtons.